गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे इज माई ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन दी सब्जेक्ट ऑफ हाउ टू कैरी आउट रिस्क असेसमेंट एट दी कोर डिजाइनिंग एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द आर्किटेक्ट इंटीरियर एंड एम ई पी फंक्शंस नाउ वॉट इज इंक्लूडेड इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन लिस्ट ऑफ कोर डिजाइन एक्टिविटीज विच आर परफॉर्म बाई दी आर्किटेक्ट्स इंटीरियर एंड एम ई पी डिजाइनर्स the six type of risks which uh, uh, in the building designing process can be there how to determine the risks uh, propose quantification model for the risk assessment uh, determining the risk score for severity occurrence and detection computing the risk score and one illustrative template for the key process which have which has seven design activities and way forward to minimize the risk scores and future references Uh, as shared in my earlier presentations there are overall <coughs> uh, 225 uh, key activities which are performed by the designers for a mid size construction project during various stages of the design development these are for example architects 118 design activities which i have listed in my book uh, covering design of structure 7 activities building architect 65 activities facade 22 external development 12 and softscape uh, 12 interior designing 37 design activities have been listed these are uh, uh, designing of uh, finishing works fixtures equipment and artwork and for the mbb designing uh, 70 design activities have been identified only for two uh, two mbb packages namely external and internal development uh, of work for electricals and air conditioning using prv and basement ventilation 38 of course there can be many many more number of activities and two to two activities can go to much larger extent depending on the number of packages as they get added a brief narration of these two to two activities design activities can be seen in uh, an extra uh, numbers 21a 21a2 21a4 uh, which are given in my website uh, uh, the number of activities can be more or less than 25 at the discretion of the designers organization depending on the type of organizational structure size of the project number of design packages and software used etc now what are the different type of risks which are building designers uh, can contribute to following are the six type of key design risks key design risks that can occur in the case design is not performed correctly or diligently or performed by inexperienced designers these are not meeting the customer requirements risk number 1 risk number 2 quality of the building attributed to poor design causing occupant dissatisfaction safety of the building like for example earthquake and fire hazard etc not meeting the building codes or zoning uh, regulations or environmental requirements related to the pollution sewerage disposal etc project cost overruns and leading to non competitiveness and funds constraints delays in construction and project delivery due to design errors needing reworks how to determine design uh, risk uh, uh, the five five activities have been identified for assessing the risks uh, to prevent risk occurrence by initiating counter measures for the for preventing risks uh, that is the ultimate objective the activity is to assess risk include uh, uh, designating a risk assessment team uh, which is a cross functional team uh, uh, identify aspects that can contribute to core activities uh, level risk designing a risk assessment template for the core design uh, core activity level software programming of the risk template and populating the risk template by design functional in consultation with the cross functional team now this cross functional team can be comprising of the designers drawn from various uh, uh, fields like uh, architecture or interior or mbp and project team or quality assurance team etc uh, and at times including marketing or sales team who will provide the risk related to the customers now uh, the, the, a, a quantification model is being proposed for measuring for measuring of the risk because there is an important saying what cannot be measured cannot be controlled the objective of the objective is to find out the if the design activities are performed incorrectly or without due diligence for which impact score is to be determined based on the following three scales one is the severity score the detectability score the occurrence score the severity refers to the impact in the case of risk occurrence on a 10 point scale detectability means that what stage the uh, design error uh, is found uh, stage of risk and occurrence means the likelihood of the risk occurrence that is uh, 
frequency of uh, uh, risk occurrence. <coughs> Determining risk score for severity. The first parameter scale is severity. Severity score is determined on a 10 point scale based on the impact adverse implication on the aspects as below. What can design error contribute to the profitability, strategy compliance, strategy values to the com of the company in terms of image uh, effects on the customer and customer retention, financial statement accuracy, reliability, effectiveness of the design process being assessed. Uh, assigning severity score. Uh, here uh, I will show a template where how to assign the score and uh, here one is proposing that one being the lowest adverse impact on the business and 10 being the highest adverse impact on the business. So if a design error contributes to uh, 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 contributes to the impact which is rated as 10 by the uh, CFT it means that it has got the highest adverse impact on the business. Now, detectability score is determined on a 10 point scale based on which stage the defect is defect the design is observed. Is it observed at the very first stage itself? For example, at the time of conceptuating the design, creating the design. Number two is stage two is at the design review or peer review stage or approval stage within the design function or outsource consultant uh, vetting the design. Uh, stage three is at the subsequent process intermediate stages. That means design, uh, th that we come to know of the uh, design uh, defect. And during the construction stage of the building, uh, at the corporate uh, uh, in-house audit stage uh, by the project head uh, within the organization or uh, risk is observed at the uh, customer and uh, uh, outside the organization. For example, cracks observed in the building uh, once the building has been occupied. Assigning detectability score being the lowest uh, diverse impact, uh, uh, one, one, one will be for the lowest at stage 1 and 10 being the highest uh, adverse impact on the business that is the, at the design stage uh, 5 mentioned above. Uh, occurrence score. Occurrence score can be determined on a 10 point scale based on the cumulative number of causes from the following stages which can contribute to the uh, design being defective. Uh, skill level of the designer performing the activity, uh, providing the design activity, segregation of duty of activities and role confusion competitive completeness of the execution of the design activity, validation of the each stage of the design activity, correctness of the source data which is the customer requirement or quality standard or strategy requirements, adequacy of internal controls, robustness of the system and updated uh, SOP, authorization norms for design activities, creating, editing, deleting, viewing and approval, uh, and designing process logic, uh, correctness, accuracy of the design assumption which can also be part of the software and other aspects like the complexity of the business, the change, uh, change management and the ethics. Now these aspects, uh, uh, larger the number of effects which contribute uh, to the design defect, more will be the occurrence score. That is one being the very low, least number of causes from the, uh, from the above list and the 10 being the extremely high, large number of causes from the above list. Computing the risk score. The for this impact, explosion matrix is to be developed based on the score to be computed as per the methodology below. Uh, the risk, uh, this impact score is to be based on a multiplication of the severity score and detectability score uh, on a uh, y-axis and uh, uh, exposure score is to be determined on a 10 point scale on a uh, on the vis a -vis the score of uh, occurrence. The designers have the option to choose or and modify the aspects included in the severity, detectability and occurrence which I have mentioned above and in case some point for example is not uh, considered as relevant this can be deleted and more points can be added one illustration is given in the enclosed template uh, illustrative template for one key core process uh, now the uh, below illustration uh, is based on seven design activities which are performed by the uh, designers for designing of the structure of a building so here i have listed uh, uh, the template which i will show next uh, seven activities have been identified uh, for which now this assessment has been done uh, scoring has been done and uh, you'll be slowly, uh, you'll be surely uh, looking at that. Now, now uh, while I have indicated seven activities, uh, designers need to perform a similar uh, scoring uh, for remaining activities. For example, a designer of architecture out of 118 activities, balance for the balance 11, 111 activities, designers need to uh, compute the score for the, uh, for example, in the building architect, facade, external development works, softscape, softscape, uh, etc. Interior designing for 37 
for the uh, design of finishing equipment and equipment and uh, for MEP 70 activities for electrical packages and conditioning packages many more activities can be as I already mentioned this can be included directly by the uh, designers now this is the template uh, which is indicated for the uh, computing the score uh, this is uh, on the horizontal top top uh, top line is activities which are there with service design of structure impact score out of 100 exposure score out of 10 and disk classification for example first activity in the uh, designing of structure is the developing the concept design and scheme this is based on the design calculation of the apcc or enforcement requirements based on the factor of safety earthquake zone extra using the software like stad or etab now let's say that this can contribute to risk uh, uh, in incorrect uh, um, uh, designing or uh, not applying due diligence uh, uh, it can lead to a say score uh, uh, impact score can be 75 exposure score uh, where will this be detected is let's say 8 so this is uh, uh, this is supposed to be high this discussion is high so anything above 75 on the impact score and uh, uh, anything uh, above uh, 8 is deemed as high now vetting of the design by the proof consultant uh, normally uh, normally the main structure designer they, their work is uh, vetted by the outside proof, proof consultant um, so let's say in this also this is a very risky uh, aspect and let's say the impact score assigned is 75 and exposure score is assigned 8 so this will be classified as high score Development of the GFC and specification for the various structural elements like capturing of the TMT bar sizes, RMC, etc. for various structural elements. Let's say this activity is perceived to be by the CFT as having having a, a impact of 50 to 74 uh, and uh, exposure score of uh, say 5 to 8. So this will be classified as a having a medium risk. Uh, uh, now uh, fourth activity is preparing the tender which covers the tender drawings and specifications and technical specifications and material brands and quality standards any anything which is not properly designed or not incorporated properly in the tender it can uh, now what is the likely impact score of this so I, I, I have assumed here that this can this can be safe in the scale of 150 to 74 and uh, exposure score can be say 5 to 8 so it is a it can be classified as a medium risk uh, issuing structural stability certificate say this is very highly risky that incorrect in case incorrect structure stability certificate is issued uh, uh, so let's say the impact is 75 and exposure score is say 8 which is very high risk making cost estimate for the structure say above 75 and uh, say above 8 is the exposure score so total uh, risk classification is high now uh, issuing as built drawings after the structure is completed and approved so let's say the impact score here is perceived as uh, somewhere uh, below below 50 which is 1 to 49 and exposure score is say uh, 1 to 4 so this is this has been classified as uh, low now these are the uh, these are just the tentative figures which have been indicated and designers can have their own assessment depending on the complexity of the design uh, work being carrying out uh, and these are only for the uh, designers uh, readers understanding only and the seven activities mentioned included above can certainly be amended or increased or decreased based on the design strategies that are performed uh, with service the various core uh, activities with service each package now how to uh, way forward to minimize the design risk and scores uh, this this can be accomplished by engaging professionally qualified designers Ensuring design activities incorporate national and international uh, quality standards, reviewing of the design activities from the health and safety perspectives before approving, uh, ensuring transparency amongst the designers of the design calculation, applying the good design practices, using licensed software, uh, 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 building internal controls to prevent colluding of the designers with vendors or contractors or strategy approving agencies, uh, eliminating opportunities for giving and taking bribes because these all things can contribute to uh, defect in the design. Uh, developing and continuing uh, way forward to minimize the design risk, developing and following the SOPs, uh, standard operating procedures, developing profiles at the granularity levels, I mean who will do what, uh, attaching profiles diligently, uh, 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 implementing the SOD segregation of duties concept while assigning roles on which I have given earlier presentations, uh, assigning roles judiciously based on the competency of the designers engaging of the self uh, encouraging self audit by the uh, designers at various stages 
continuous competency enhancement of the designers at each level and introducing introducing performance measures through KPI. Now you can refer to uh, more details about this in my chapter 10 and an extra 13 in my uh, handbook for more details uh, covered and uh, uh, website is uh, uh, www uh, com blog how to develop a quantification model to determine the discourse in design activities. Now there are some uh, concepts which are there in my uh, Facebook link and LinkedIn page also. The book is available now in the uh, uh, paperback format at Amazon.in or Amazon.com and in some some states in India it is available uh, in the uh, bookshops also. Thank you very much.